December Buy you yellow roses that you probably don't remember And we listen to some silly song on the back road to your home No, I never thought I'd have to live the Christmas all alone Oh, hey, oh So on Christmas Eve Good morning you guys Will's still sleeping so I'm trying to be quiet but It is 9am I've been up since about 7 Yesterday was our first day back from Europe I'm feeling good though, I don't feel any kind of jet lag Or really like anything so I'm super happy about that But yeah, Vlogmas officially started yesterday I uploaded my first Vlogmas video which was my first Barcelona vlog so I have a lot of editing to do over the next few days to get all of those videos ready to go up. But yeah, I thought we would hang out today while I get back into real life. We have some unpacking to do and uh, just a few little errands and things to do around the house. Just getting back into routine, getting back into my day to day. I've been reading since I got up and I'm going to make myself a little tea here. And then get back into my book while I wait for Will to get up, and then I think we're gonna head to the gym. So on Christmas Eve, when you're not here, I will coach myself through my greatest fear. In Dallas, baby Jesus, if it be alright for my heart to break, my heart to break, my heart to break. Okay. On it's been literally hours. <laughs> I've been reading nonstop. My book got really good. Um, and it's been keeping me completely distracted. It's like over 600 pages and I've been trying to like make my way through it all day, but it's getting late and I haven't done anything with my day at all. I feel like I've already missed my opportunity to go to the gym. I'm going to just start doing some other things around the house that need to get done, like, the laundry. Let's start with unpacking and get some laundry going. And I can't believe there is so much stuff in here that I never even wore because I fully packed for summer and it was freezing over there. All right for my heart to break my heart to so on Christmas Eve, when you're not here, I will push myself to my greatest fear. In Dallas, baby Jesus, if it be alright for my heart to break, my heart to break, my heart to break on this side. for the winter. We do have another trip planned, actually not too far away, that will require me having all of these warm clothes out again and actually needing them this time. But it's far enough away to where I just want to get this all out of the apartment and out of the way. So I will take it all down to the storage room. I think I might actually wear this tonight. We bought tickets to a show ages ago. I feel like neither of us are particularly excited to be going. Um, there's just a lot going on this month and we just got back from a big trip, but we have these tickets. So we're gonna go. It's this DJ called Black Coffee that Will really likes. We're seeing them at Rebel tonight. So yeah, I think I might wear this. It's literally winter here, but it's pretty common in Canada to no. It's it's winter. I can't wear this. It's too it's too it's too cold. I'm gonna wear pants. <laughs> Into the box. Changing colors, collecting when they hit the ground. I'm sorry, by the way, if any of my shots are crooked. 
I bought this new tripod. It's Manfrotto, which is the same brand as the old tripod I had that I lost. And I'm so sad because I freaking hate this thing. I got it right before we went on our trip and I hate it. It is so hard to readjust. You have to take a lot of time to like set up all of your shots and it doesn't hold itself up like it's supposed to be able to stand but the legs just like slowly start to spread apart and it just is terrible so anybody's looking for a little handheld tripod do not get the new Manfrotto one get the original it's so much easier to use way more lightweight just like way better overall I'm sad because I lost that one I feel like it has to be around here somewhere I have no idea where it could be but I want to buy the same one again especially when I've already bought a new one but I'm feeling like I'm gonna end up doing that anyways I'm a mess I was planning on getting ready for this video which I still am gonna do but I wasn't planning on being such a slob all day but here we are you guys are used to that anyways i'm going to just do a few more little things around the house and then i need to give my hair a wash it needs a deep condition i feel like it's getting so dry now that we're in winter my skin and my hair are just starting to suffocate i'm gonna do a hair mask and a face mask and stuff tonight and then we'll get ready together as well i'll talk a little bit about my thoughts on barcelona Regained its confidence and lets the birds come out to sing. Greeted in all the flowers and the trees that went to the spring. Oh, I'll grab my boots and darling, take my hand and we'll go for a walk and be gone for some time. Part about getting ready the worst part to drawing my hair is finished which is fantastic it is 6 30 I've been putting off making dinner for a little while now oh this is literally the world's worst lighting it's better <laughs> I've been putting off making dinner for a little while now just because we're gonna have a late night tonight like the doors don't even open till 10 at this club so we're gonna probably be leaving here around like 11 11 30 something like that so i'm just trying to like make the night long so we don't get tired <laughs> um but it's about time i'm gonna head to the grocery store and just get something easy to make because we have no food i was supposed to go for groceries today and i did not i read my book instead so i'm gonna get something just really quick and easy from across the street we'll start our evening <laughs> I got some soup, Ma's Best Quality Soup. This is a golden cauliflower. It looks so good. And some bread. I'm gonna heat up in the oven. And that's gonna be our dinner. Will just made us some g and -T's. I'm gonna have a little gin, a little cauliflower, a little bread. I'm excited. And then we'll get ready and do this face together. It's almost 8.30, dinner is done. It was not the best, probably wouldn't recommend. Unless you like the taste of coconut oil, which I do not. Oh, I'm excited to actually use my full-size skincare. I've just been using little samples the last few weeks here. I always save my little sachets of sample skincare and take it with me when I travel. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of give a little wrap up on Barcelona as a city. 
We obviously had an amazing time. The circumstances kind of set us up for that. I feel like anywhere we went, we would have really enjoyed ourselves. But Barcelona felt very livable. Spain in general, especially when we were in Girona, I really liked it there. It felt really homey. I could just really picture living there. It was really different, like super different than Canada or many of the other places that I've been before. But the food was in Insane. so incredible we had some incredible incredible meals i feel like at la chigra la chigre god i'm already forgetting i'm already forgetting the names of things i had literally the best thing that i've ever eaten in my life a truffle mushroom dish it was incredible i will say though that in toronto especially we are very spoiled with food we get food from all over the world here and it is so good the food from other cultures is just incredible in toronto and anytime we tried to have anything that wasn't like spanish food in barcelona we were disappointed we tried to order a few japanese items on menus we went to an asian restaurant and those were like our least favorite meals so i would say if you're going to spain or going to barcelona like just stick to the tapas and you'll be more than happy so i am not one often to want to do the touristy things i'm not often attracted to tourist attractions but the tourist attractions in barcelona were like so incredible it was really nice being there in november because of course there was still tourists there but I could imagine that things would have been so overwhelming and just like overrun and would have probably changed the experience a lot if we were there in the summer. I think being there in November, it just made everything a little bit easier and like nicer to experience when it came to that kind of stuff. I also loved the Salvador Dali Museum when we did our road trip. That was so cool. I had such a good experience. I felt like I learned so much. <laughs> And really cool and entertaining and fun yeah we could really we could really picture ourselves living there it was really nice getting to spend that full 10 days there because we really got we felt like a good feel for the city although on our last day there when we walked to park well we were in this like completely new different neighborhood that looked so different from any of the neighborhoods that we had seen up until that point and we were like okay there is even more to this city to see than what we had seen so definitely would go back definitely would recommend it to others and yeah if you go in november just pack warm clothes because it's freaking cold even if the weather says that it's 20 degrees it's not gonna feel like that <laughs> so i'm on gnt number two and i just did my skincare as you saw and put on some of the nars natural radiant foundation which is what i've been using most days lately i'm gonna use a little bit of the Too faced born this way concealer underneath my eyes here this is definitely too dark I'm feeling so pale lately. I can't wait for our next trip. I'm gonna get some sun, get some color back in this face. I'm not gonna go through my whole makeup with you guys because I feel like this video is probably pretty long already. So let me just speed this up real quick. I will say quickly that I am gonna do my makeup using the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. I've just been feeling the purples today. I've seen some really amazing purple looks on Instagram lately. So I'm feeling inspired to go in this direction. Sorry, told me I'm nobody. She arrived at a prom child of my life. I feel like I don't even know myself. Looking in my eyes, I ain't nobody. It reminds me of the child that I always was. Skipping class, getting out of the school buses. But I don't wanna get to know myself. Find me in the clouds where I'm always. Waking up the days I've been reminiscing. 
a lot Afraid of making a mistake, I don't pay attention a lot And I be conversating with God and Satan About which way that I should probably embark upon And lead me to high so places told me that I'm changing, of course I be fucking changing Things haven't been the same since grade school Smoking papers lately, all I ever do is just sleep Music and waiting for the day I finally break from the hometown I was made And I've been broke, I sell an eight, pop a pillow for better days I don't got a lot, thought I have a stack in the bank After I graduated, find me a bad bitch who was damn well fuck me over was to use the cycle, need a break and I hate it My dilemmas be volumes, no acapella Tryna cop a Maserati and crash inside a motel Shawty hella spiritual, so my focus out of alignment I flip a coin in the street for the moment I'm indecisive, I live riddled with vices Your angels, I couldn't find them Shit never been the same since I seen you kiss them goodbye She telling me all the time that this isn't even about me Shit, nah, I seem fucking simple, I can't figure it out In my mind, I'm still the kill with anxiety Bound to spill in society, bully down Got the cards that I've been dealt and I ain't felt a sense of remorse and forever before If I second guess your intentions Time to exit I don't want you fucks around me Shawty told me I'm a nobody She ain't right I've been a prime child of my life I feel like I don't even know myself Looking in my eyes I ain't nobody Doing my best to the child that I always was Skipping class getting high on the store buses Probably high amounts than pill bottles and cow